are you doing this evening? You're looking forward? Yeah, I really am. Yeah, I've had a bit of a sneak preview of it. It's utterly heartbreaking. Um, nostalgic, romantic, incredibly, profoundly moving, but ultimately heartbreaking, actually. Actually, and what I felt when I was watching it as well was, was that I didn't want it to, I didn't know what to expect. I don't like to read it. And when you watch it, you don't want them to move from the era, no, which they don't. No. And, and because all of those stories were just so fascinating, yeah. weren't they? Were they stories that you had already known because you work in the industry? Yeah, I obviously knew the stories from... But there's a sense of detachment when you're reading about the heroes of, of you know, bygone era. And then to see it on film and see all that in stunning archive footage just brought it to life for me. You know, these were real people. You could hear their voices and, and it kind of like, is that how I imagined him to be? And, and it kind of was. Um, so, yeah, it was an inc yeah, incredibly moving experience. And, and I was talking to Daryl, the director, earlier on, and he, you know, he was saying this isn't really a film just for motor head junkies, you no. know. Um, this is very much a story that women can, can watch and enjoy as well, can't they? Well, women can be motorheads too, <laughs> I yes, hasten to true. add. There's nothing wrong uh, with that. No, thank you. <laughs> you. Um, no, I think it's a, yeah, it's obviously a human interest story. And I think what shines through is the, the, the enormous tenacity and determination of, of the protagonists, but um, the, the, the sense of friendship as well and camaraderie and solidarity. And, and you still see that now in modern Formula One. I think... Um, you know, we've been very lucky with the safety standards have, have moved on massively in recent decades, but we did lose someone of the current era in Jules Bianchi um, recently. And I know that just had such a, an impact on everyone in the sport and that there wasn't a single one of us who wasn't touched by that. So I can only imagine back then when it was an almost weekly occurrence, um, the tragedy of it was just drew everyone all the, all the closer because of it. And talking about the current era, you're a female in motorsport. Is it is it easy? You know, especially to, we're talking about diversity. It's such a current topic at the mm. moment. Is, is it was it easy for you to break into? And have you got any advice for any other females that want to break into the industry? Yeah, I think it's a very different place from what I can gather now. It certainly feels like a meritocracy. If you work hard enough and you're passionate enough, then you'll get there, regardless of gender, regardless of ethnicity or background. I think. Um, Really, it's well. It's a whole new world now, anyway, compared to the 1950s. But certainly in Formula One, you know, you meet some of the brightest brains in the world, and I'm certainly not including myself in that. But you know, you meet some incredibly interesting uh, people from diverse backgrounds. I think that there needs to be more done to make women feel that it's accessible. So um, if we can encourage girls to feel like they have got a future in the sport, whether it's as a driver or a team principal or in broadcasting, then you know that should be what we're determined to do. Oh, no. Well, we've got that. I mean, we're here at Ferrari, but we've got Claire Williams, obviously, who's yeah. a team principal. Like, yeah. She's a shining example. Absolutely. And she's just had a baby, so she's a working mum as well. So woman after my own heart, yeah. Right, to finish off on Ferrari, what is it about Ferrari that make them so special? I think Ferrari is just this sort of magical brand. If you talk to any current F1 driver, they all want to drive for Ferrari at some stage in their career. I mean, the romantic notion is that you finish your career with Ferrari because there's just this sort of intangible um, magic about them. And it's so much bigger than the sport, so much bigger than any one individual. You know, they're the biggest brand in the world for a reason.